In this video, we're gonna test a budget mic from Rode as well as a more expensive version and just see what the quality difference is really like in the same sort of position. So I'm actually recording with two shotgun mics positioned just above me, just out of this frame. And I'll cut to a wider shot now so you can see how it's set up. And we have the NTG3 here, and then right next to it, we have the Rode VioMic Pro, positioned in an ideal position for doing interviews or your typical YouTube video. So this is a real world test in a very echoey room. And you can basically hear now, straight up, right next to each other, how the mics sound. So this is a real world test in a very echoey room and you can basically hear now straight up right next to each other how the mics sound. Okay, so now we have the mics in a voiceover configuration and I have used this before for voiceovers and I've just dropped the attenuation down to 6 dB on this and down from plus 20 to zero on that mic. But this is just to get an idea is if you can use these mics for a voiceover. I just put a pop filter here to uh, help stop the plosives because the shotgun mics are really susceptible to plosives in this kind of situation. So this is a comparison of the two mics in a voiceover configuration. Hopefully they're sounding all good and very, very clear. So this is a comparison of the two mics in a voiceover configuration. Hopefully they're sounding all good and very, very clear. And finally, the popular situation to use a shotgun mic is sometimes on top of a camera. So this is the example of that distance and what it sounds like. And finally, the popular situation to use a shotgun mic is sometimes on top of a camera. So this is the example of that distance and what it sounds like. So how do the mics sound to you? Let me know which one is worth it, which one is more versatile, which one you prefer if you've used either, or if you have another recommendation. Look forward to hearing it in the comments. So again, if you're looking for more video production related tutorials, tips, gear reviews, tune into Video Upskill and I'll catch you in the next video.